Alrighty, I got my pattern piece cut out. This is the Women's Brenda pattern. And I am going to, it's from, it's by Made for Mermaids. Like this is super cute, super like, it's new. So I just wanted to try it out myself. I'ma just be honest with y'all. I'm a little nervous when it comes to buttons, especially the buttons with period, but especially with knit. So I'ma try this out for y'all and you know, if I screw up, y'all gonna see it. It is what it is. So. This is what I have. I have my back piece here. It was cut on the fold. Over here is my front piece. And I also have already put my, added my, um, my interfacing on both. I didn't know if I needed to, but I added my interfacing on both of my uh, front um, pieces here for my buttons. Um, this would be my cuff in my sleeves. I'm doing the relaxed fit, you know, because everybody like to be relaxed. So baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to do the relaxed fit. Got this cute fabric from fabric.com. Oh, ain't it adorable? I love it so much. So, and I also have my little uh, buttonhole gauge and my pins. So, let's get started and wish me luck. <laughs> okay, and let's start by constructing our shirt. So what I'm gonna do is going to open up my gonna open up my back piece here, okay? I'm gonna open my back piece just like that, and then I'm just going to grab one of my front pieces, and it's gonna be right sides together, and I'm going to connect them at the shoulder seams here. Now, in the tutorial, it tells me that I can either put some interface in here or use the, the clear elastic. I'm not going to do any of it because I'm just going to see how it works out. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm going to do. But if you want to, you can. It's all up to you. And you can just see if how this works out for me. Matching up my, uh, my shoulder seams here, and now I'm just gonna pin. Okay, so I have my shoulder seams, my front and back, uh, my front and my back shoulder seams pinned here. And I just take it to, I just go to the sewing machine and just do my half inch seam allowance along my shoulder seams here. I'm also going to use a stretch stitch. Whatever stretch stitch that you use, I will be using a zigzag stitch. So I'll just do a stretch stitch along the shoulder seams and then I will also serge um, off my bra. Okay, so I have, um, I, I serge my, both of my shoulder seams here. I, and, and I just, just to be real with you, um, I do see a little bit of, you know, a little, little waviness because I did not use the um, elastic. But I'm gonna just put a little heat on it, put a little steam on it, and we'll see how it works from there. How about it? <laughs> but other than that, I think it'll be all right. So now I got my sleeves. Grab your sleeves. I got both of them, and we're gonna, and we're going to attach our sleeves. So open up your top. And just a reminder, this is my back and this is my front, okay? And these are my sleeves here on the side here, okay? So what I'll do is I'm just gonna open up one of my sleeves and I'm going to place it right sides together, okay? To my sleeves here, all right? So I had it in a funnel, so therefore I kinda know yeah, I see my fold here. What I do, I just use that as my guide. And I'll match up my fold seam here. Well, my fold. And I'll just pin. Right side together. And I'll match the side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pin my pin my sleeves, um, and I'll do the same thing for my other side. OK, 
Okay, so I have my, I have my sleeves pinned to my top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to machine sew, and I will do, uh, and I will serge off my raw ends, and I'll be back. All right, so I have attached my sleeves. Now I'm going to, um, we're going to put our shirt together. Okay, we're going to attach the sleeves and everything. So let's me pull this wrong side out. Pin from the arms all the way down to the sides. And I'm going to do this on both sides. Okay. side seams, my sleeves and side seams pinned. So what I'm going to do is take it to the sewing machine, do my straight stitch on both sides, and then I am going to serge to give it a more professional look. And just always remember, when you use a neat, use a zigzag stitch. I think I can come up with a song with that one. Y'all wait for that for this video done. I got y'all. I got a song. All right, y'all, so I surged, I sewed and surged my side seams, and now I'm going to flip it right side out and grab your, grab your, um, your cuffs. Now I'm going to add my cuffs to my shirt. Look at that, y'all. It's looking more like a shirt. Instead of a whole bunch of fabric that I got from got off mine. I actually committed this time. If y'all want to check out the video of me having a hard time committing, <laughs> check it out. Okay, so grab your cuff pieces. And what, what we're going to do is, is we're going to take them and put them right sides together. Just like that. They're all ready. So, open it up. Right sides together. Just like that. Okay? Gonna I'm going to I'm going to pin on my long edge here, pin on my long edges here, and then I will um, yeah, and then I will sew. I will do a zigzag stitch. Okay, so let's pin our sleeves together. All right, so I have them pinned. Head to the sewing machine. Do your zigzag stitch on both of your um, cuffs and you will not need you will, you wouldn't have to do a surge so don't worry about surging so i'll be there okay so i got my cuffs so what i'll do is is i will open up my side seam here just like that and flip it just like that okay All right, so now let's attach these cuffs to our top. Okay, so I got my, my um, I have my shirt, uh, and I have it right side out. So I'm just gonna start with one of my sleeves here. Okay, so start with one of your sleeves, and then get one of your cuffs. Okay, and you have this side seam here. You have a seam here. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put match the side seams. I'm going to match the cuff side seam here to the under the arm side seam. And we're going to put those right sides together, okay? So see how I'm doing this, okay? So what I'm doing is, is this is my side seam and here's my side seam. I'm just going to put my cuff over my sleeve and I'm going to pin at the side seam. All right, and now what I'm just going to do is, is I'm just going to take my sleeve piece and I'm just going to match it up with my cuffs here. Just match my cuff pieces with my sleeve. Right sides together. I'm going to do the same thing for my other sleeve. All 
Okay, so I have both my sleeves. Um, I have both my cuffs attached, pinned to my sleeves. So now I'll just take it to the sewing machine, do a straight stitch, and I will also serge my raw ends, and I'll be back. All right, so my cuffs are on. I'm gonna flick them girls on down like that. Super cute. Now let's hem the bottom of our of our top here. Okay, so for hemming my um, for hemming the bottom of my shirt, I like to use this. Uh, I like to use this stuff here. It is the heat and bun soft and stretch. So cool. I just love it so much. So I am going to do that and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I hem the bottom of my top here. I just did a zigzag stitch. I wish I had a cover stitch, but I ain't got one. So zigzag stitch it is. Look at this. Cute little cover. Alright, so now it's time for me to hem the raw edge here of my front of my front um top along the back and on to the other side and the tutorial says that i need to do a half inch just fold it in a half inch well actually okay so right here will be like the tricky part because we have this right here it's going to be my tie so what we'll need to do is fold it in here fold it in just like that fold it on top of each other just like that and you'll do this for both sides and then you're going to fold your top your raw ends of your top a half inch just like that if that makes sense I'll show you again close up all right here's a close up this is the front of my top You'll know this because of my interfacing. And here's the tie. So what I'll do is, is I'm going to fold this in like that, along this straight edge here, I mean along my hem, and then fold this over again a half inch. And I'll do a half inch all, all the way around. So what I'll do is just pin or use them like the your adhesive. I probably use the adhesive here. The little sticky adhesive along this edge here. Keep this the same and then adhesive all the way around my neck. So then it'll stay, stay together. Alright, so I have I have not hemmed it yet. I haven't, you know, hemmed it just yet. But what I did was I just used Wherever I did not have interfacing, I used my soft stretch um, knit adhesive. So then it can, you know, just like a heat and bond just to keep this together. So when I go to the sewing machine and I sew it all the way around the neckline here, I'm going to use um, a stretch stitch. I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch all the way around my top here. And I'll be back. Okay, so. As you can see, I have, um, I did my half inch seam allowance and I just pretty much hem all around the front and the neckline and on the other, on the opposite side. So our next step is, is um, I can't show the pattern, but um, at this point you, I have my, I have my um, front piece here overlapped a half inch here on my on the uh, on the opposite side just got it half um a half inch overlap just like that okay okay so i can't show the pattern pieces but when you get to this point what you'll do is you'll get your pattern piece and it has placement um button placements on it okay so i'm gonna do that and then what i'll do is, is i will pin where my button top and where the button hold, I mean, where my buttons should stop. Now, I was a little confused at first. I thought that I, you know, that I was going to have to do buttonholes, right? But the 
great thing about that, as I read it again, because I was really, really sleepy, but I read it again, and it's not buttonhole. And so what we're going to do is, is instead of doing buttonholes, we are just pretty much like putting, we're lining our front and front pieces up together, and we're just putting buttons where um, we're going to attach the buttons to the both to both front left and right piece, if I'm making sense. So here, as you can see, I have the top pinned together, and I have my bottom here, front, both front pieces pinned together. Okay, so in order for us, and this is optional, I'm gonna do it, so it's up to you. In order for us to make sure that we have, we will be attaching our buttons to the right and the left piece, um, front piece together, we can just do, I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and just do a, a um, basting stitch from the top to the bottom. So then I know for, to, to attach the, the both of my front, both of my front pieces together here. So I'm gonna do that and I also will take a pin and just going to like pretty much just pin it all the way down to where, where I need to stop it. So then I can make sure when I baste that my fabric is not gonna move it. Okay, so I can I went to the sewing machine and, and so you'll get a better look like it's not coming apart. So I did a, a basting stitch to attach both my left and my right um, front front pieces, okay? And I also kept my pins where my button should stop, start, where it should start and where it should end, okay? Now, I'm glad I, I woke up so I can not be able to get this stuff right because I sure hate to tell y'all wrong, honey. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, is I am going to add my button. I have this cool little, little um, gauge here, okay? Little button gauge. And this right here pretty much, it shows where my, I, I lined it up where my buttons are, where my buttons start and where my, where my button would end. And then what you'll do is, is in those little spots here, that's where you'll add your buttons to give yourself an even, you know, make your button holes really, really even. Well, your button, not button holes, but your button, see? Make them really even, okay? So now, if you don't have one of those, I'll link it in the description box. I got it on Amazon, so you can go pick that up. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go to my sewing machine, and I'm just going to attach my buttons to my, my garment, and I'll be right back. So I'm, I'm using my, my marker here, and I'm just going to like try to mark where I want my buttons to be, you know. So then when I go to the sewing machine, I know where it needs to be. This one is gonna be really hard. So I may just have to put a pin here because I do not have, you know, a light spot on this shirt to, to add my button, okay? So if you have a dark shirt, just put pins where it needs to go, okay? And got it here, and then I will also mark here. Okay, and if you don't have it, just put use a use a pen for your dark places, okay? Alright, so let's just head to our machine and attach our buttons. Alright, my sweet friends. I add my buttons. Put my buttons on, and now all what's left to do is this cute tie. So you just tie it up, put a little, a little knot in that thing, just like that. Just like that. Y'all, like that top. Your girl look fine and white on that top. Y'all gonna have to admit that back on. I will, I will look good. I'm good and sharp. Do you hear me? So, like, that is the Made for Mermaid's Brenda pattern. So cute. All you have to do is, is just sew buttons on it. Well, you gotta do all the other stuff too, but all you have to do is just sew buttons on the top of it. I was so scared to get this pattern at first because I thought I had to do buttonholes. First of all, I hate buttonholes, but if you had to do buttonholes with knit, Oh no, uh-uh, you count me out on that one. 
but you don't have to. So this pattern is super cute, made with knit. I have one on right now. I made this one because I was just like, <laughs> let me keep doing this, you know what I'm saying? You can make it for your daughter, you can make it for yourself. They have so many different options. You got like long sleeves, short sleeves, ruffle sleeves, um, cute little tie, top, you know, tie in the front, you know, the button down in the front, you can make it solid. That is like you got 17,000 patterns for like maybe eight, nine dollars. Now that, that's, that's the deal right there. Now that's what's up. And then you can go to Walmart, you know what I'm saying? And go over there and get that little pre-cut knit fabric and just go crazy. Do you hear me? Like I love this pattern so much. So look, don't forget to subscribe because that's really important. This is a new pattern I'm doing. Super cute, new company, awesome. Um, I will be doing more, so if you wanna come back and check it out, please do. Grab the pattern, make sure you'll get you some, um, get you some of that, that heat and bond, um, soft and stretch. That's what I wanted to tell you guys. So, in the tutorial, I put the, the interface in here where I was gonna put the buttons. Okay, so when I did another one, all I did was is I took the heat, I took the heat and bun and I put it all the way around. Like I didn't even put the, the lightweight um, little button. I mean, I didn't even put the lightweight interfacing or anything on there. I just put the heat, I put the heat and bun all the way around from, you know, from the bottom here all the way around the neck and then iron it on. Like it still feels like it's it has some um so interfacing on it, so it was it was still great. So that'll be really really easy. So if you don't want to use the inter I mean use the interfaces, just use that heat and bun tape. I gotta go get more because I ran out and I made a whole bunch of shirts, as you can see. <laughs> and I will link this uh, pattern for the girls and the women's in my description box here, so you can go down there and uh, click that and start sewing with me. I'll even link this cute accordion looking. Button, buttonhole, or uh, wait, not a buttonhole. It's a button. It's a button gauge. So you know, so you can make sure you get your buttons right and tight. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to post videos at least once a week. So you guys can go and check it out and sew with me. Y'all have a beautiful day and make you a whole bunch of cute tops. I feel like Jane and Harvey and y'all give me that jungle vibe. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Have a great sewing day. See ya.